Okay, so this is pretty neat today. Um, this is inside my TSM 335 lab. And, uh, you know, I'm primarily an engineering major, but um, there is this one fun class where for a few weeks we get to take apart these diesel engines and put them back together and fire them up. So um, we've done that, but uh, I just wanted to get a quick clip of this. This must have been someone's um, project they made for class or something 30 had have been like 20, 30 years ago. Um, and I'm going to start it up for us so we can see and kind of explain the distributor and, you know, you're just your standard old school ignition system. And uh, if you're familiar with my videos, it's primarily what I work with is all the old school stuff. So, um, unfortunately, the CDI box doesn't work because it'd be really fun to do a comparison. But, so we got our switch flip to standard. So basically, we're just going to uptake our current and then um, you know we'll play with our spark plug gap up there which I have right now set to 35 thousandths so um, I got the gap on the distributor set to uh, 17 thousandths right there and that's about business card it's a pretty nominal value to use so um, this is pretty neat but um, we can play around with our plug gap while it's running so um, get up and moving here. Might want to turn the ignition on there. All right. So we see here we're moving at a pretty slow speed. We're getting quite a bit of spark. And, um, you know, this is kind of going to demonstrate why old school systems have a breakdown at higher RPM. They just can't keep up. So. Um, since we're moving at relatively slow speed, this coil has a lot of time to build up a charge to uh, um, output to say the spark plug. So we can see here as we speed it up, um, we're still getting pretty good spark. And all through uh, our dial here we will. Um, now, shut it off here for a second. Now, um, Right now we're sitting in a plug gap of 35,000, and that's normal. But what I'm going to do is open it way up, and then we're going to play with that speed, and we're going to watch how it um, breaks down at higher RPM. Now what's interesting about this is this is not inside of an engine. Now when you're inside of an engine, um, you know, in the combustion chamber with a running engine, that compression adds atmosphere and the fuel vapor. All that is adding atmosphere, and it's harder to jump the plug gap. So this is a shut this off here so I don't get electrocuted. This is one heck of a plug gap that you'd never be able to jump in an engine. So um, that's pretty interesting. You know, with my higher compression engine builds, I have to run like a 35,000 plug gap, even though I'm running like, um, you know, the MSD 6AL digital ignition box, I still got to run a tighter plug gap due to the heightened compression. But um, again, as we can see here, we'll turn everything on. And we'll open up the gap and we'll show that um, at RPM it starts to break down. So right now we'll open it a little more so it demonstrates it a lot better. So we got a pretty healthy gap going here. And um, it takes um, quite a bit of charge to jump that gap. And as we speed it up, this coil will not be able to build enough charge to jump that gap and it'll start to break down and it'll be missing. <laughs> Gotta open up quite a gap here. Let's shut it off here to really, let's really open it up here to accentuate this because we really can't spin this distributor. It's only spinning at like 3000 RPM. It's not really getting any good speed through it. So, all right, here we go. So we're jumping a good start. Speed her up. And you can see the breakdown as the RPM increases. You can see where it's not even getting a spark across. But if we slow it down, that coil can build enough charge to jump the gap. So, and even even more so as we slow down. So, shut everything down here. So anyway, pretty much that's kind of how a standard ignition works. You know, you can kind of see how you can have 
quite a big gap there when you're not in a combustion chamber and kind of how the characteristics of combustion and compression um, really factor into your um, spark plug gap and what have you there. And we can also see that as RPM increases, your uh, um, coil cannot um, create enough charge and you start to, uh, it starts to break down at higher RPM. So that's kind of the trouble with racing and, um, you know, your ignition system, it's got to keep up. Um, and naturally, the wider you make this gap, the less time in milliseconds that your coil will have to charge. So you want to make sure that you keep up on your spark plug gap if you have a standard points ignition. So anyway, kind of a quick overview, something really neat to see there. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and there you go.